Under the Obama administration, our border agents were restricted in what they could do when enforcing federal immigration laws, due to the former president's open borders stance and lax enforcement policies. Those lax policies oftentimes brought our border agents into direct conflict with drug cartels who weren't high on Barack Obama's list of priorities to focus on, so they were practically allowed to come and go as they pleased. As a result, Border Patrol agent Brian Terry, was mercilessly gunned down in 2010 by a Mexican drug cartel member using a weapon he obtained during Obama's failed operation Fast and Furious. What Obama was unable to do in six years, Donald Trump did in just three months, they arrested the criminal responsible for Brian Terry's murder from Conservative Tribune. In 2010, United States Border Patrol agent Brian Terry was killed by a Mexican cartel member with a gun supplied by the U.S. government under former President Barack Obama's Operation Fast and Furious. On Wednesday, the same suspected cartel member was reportedly arrested by a joint U.S.-Mexico law enforcement task force that included members of the Drug Enforcement Administration, U.S. Marshals and the Border Patrol Tactical Unit. According to Fox News, Heraclio Osorio Aerolanes was captured at a ranch on the border of the Mexican states of Sinaloa and Chihuahua, and U.S. authorities have said they will seek his extradition. Osorio Aerolanes was believed to have been involved with the December 14, 2010, gunfight between Border Patrol agents, including Terry, and members of a five-man cartel rip crew known for robbing drug dealers along the border. Terry's death exposed Operation Fast and Furious, in which the federal government under the direction of Obama's Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives allowed criminals to buy guns in Phoenix area shops with the intention of tracking them once they made their way into Mexico. However, as per usual whenever the federal government is involved in a grand scheme, the plan went sour, and the Bureau lost track of more than 1,400 of the 2,000 guns they allowed smugglers to buy. Two of those guns were found at the scene of Terry's killing. Four members of the RIP crew have already been sentenced to jail time in the U.S., including Manuel Osorio Aerolanes, who was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison after pleading guilty to first-degree murder in February 2014. Ivan Soto Barraza and Jesus Sanchez Misa were convicted in October 2015 by a federal jury of nine different charges, including first-degree murder and attempted armed robbery. Rosario Rafael Berbo Alvarez was sentenced to 27 years in prison for his role in assembling the RIP crew. Former President Obama refused to honor his oath of office in protecting our borders leaving a huge stain on his precious legacy. Donald Trump has demonstrated what a man of inetrity and action he is by doing what Obama couldn't, or wouldn't do, by making our borders secure and safe again. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. American Conservative Herald helped contribute to this report. Its news exposed signing off.